Hey guys, it's Marshall and Ann with PhysioU. And for today's Mentoring Minute, we're going to be talking about elbow stiffness. Uh, primarily, we'll be talking about either post-operatively or post-immobilization. Yes, I know you can have a stiff elbow just from um, aging processes, little arthritic changes, and a lot of the treatments and stuff we talk about work the same. When we talk about elbow mobility, we're primarily looking at a lack of 30 degrees of extension or 130 degrees of flexion. So they talk about the functional range of the elbow being 30 to 130 for flexion extension, and then 50 degrees of supination and 50 degrees of pronation, right? So you have about 100 degrees of flexion and 100 degrees of rotation total, expanding from full pronation to full supination. They talk about a lack of 50% of range is equivalent to about an 80% lack of function in that upper extremity. So it's pretty important. Our elbow is pretty important for feeding, dressing, grooming. Um, so the primary goal is to get as much extension as possible, um, especially past that 30 degrees mark. Uh, when we talk about joint mobility, there's three joints in the elbow. We have our humeral ulnar joint, our humoradial joint, and then our radial ulnar joint. The humeral ulnar and the radial ulnar are our primary two that we'll use for flexion and extension, and our proximal radial ulnar joint will be our primary one for rotation. For treatment, we'll talk about joint mobilizations, followed by then some Therax activities. So, for the first joint, the humeral ulnar joint, we'll put an open pack, which is 70 to 90 degrees of flexion, and then 10 degrees of supination. Stabilize it on my shoulder, block the humerus, and then using my hand on the ulna, I'll add a distraction force, so kind of going towards me, right? trying to open up the, the uh, ulna on the humerus. When we talk about humeral radial joint, the open pack is now extension, supination. Again, we can just do a distraction or traction technique, bunch the skin, stabilize the humerus, and then add a distraction force to the radius. We can also mobilize the radius on the humerus. If we're trying to improve, trying to improve extension, we can do a posterior glide on the radius. So then stabilize the humerus and ulna, and then add a posterior glide of the radial head. If we're trying to improve flexion and we're following that concave convex, we can turn our arm over, stand on the other direction, again stabilize ulna and humerus, and mobilize the radial head into an anterior direction. Lastly, if we're trying to affect pronation and supination, our open pack is going to be 70 degrees of flexion and 35 degrees of supination. If we're trying to improve pronation, we're going to do a proximal mobilization on that radial head. So I'm going to stabilize her in flexion, and you can either use your hand and hang on the table, or you can always use the towel roll a little bit to block it there as well, to keep it in that flexion. Right? And now we're adding a posterior glide for pronation. We can flip it over and then do an anterior glide for supination. So that would be our joint mobilizations. Anytime we work on joint mobility around the elbow, we then want to follow it up with a stretch. So if we're working on flexion, it's just overpressure and deflection. If we're working on extension, overpressure and extension. For any of the rotations, start at 90 degrees and then just rotate to end range and then end range for supination. As far as home exercise program or Therex, there's a couple of good studies that talked about low load, long duration stretching, where they either had a TheraBand tied to the floor or just tied to a dumbbell, let it hang, a towel roll under the distal part of the humerus, and having the patient just relax. Their goal was to get to build up to 10 to 15 minutes four times a day. So they wanted patients to stretch for an hour a day. They wanted to make sure that it was enough resistance to feel stretch but not so much for increased pain and spasm, trying to like, the patient trying to block itself out of it, block them out of it. Um, that does it for elbow stiffness. Hope you guys enjoyed it and you learned something. Make sure you take a look at the PhysioU app to learn more about elbow mobility deficits.